Hello, it's Lin Ismail again here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can customize the carousel um, widget to put in some text and to have a unique URL for each of the sliders that you make um, uh, for the carousel, that you use for the carousel. Just to give you an example of how this is going to look like. Wait, yeah, I think this is the one. Now, this is the carousel that we're going for. Okay, and of course it rotates just how you would like it to be. And when you click on any one of this, let's see when I click on this one, this one goes to WordPress. And then maybe I can click on uh, this first one, the yellow. This one goes to Elementor. And number one, number two, number three, this one goes to this one goes to WordPress.com. Uh, the stars in the mountain, that one goes to wait, hold on. This one goes to UA Elementor. Right, and if we go for the more, let's see, like this one goes to my Fiverr account, uh, fiverr.com slash kidino. And if you go to the last one, yeah, I think this one, look at the trees. This one goes to a video that I did about timeline on how to make a timeline using Elementor Pro. Now, um, this is what we're aiming for, and I'm going to show you how I do it. All right, so let's get back to um, our Elementor here. Now, um, I already have done uh, this done here, right here, uh, down here, but maybe we should start with a fresh one. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, what is that thing? We are going to call up the carousel, image carousel right here, and put it right there. Right, okay, and let's select some, Im some images. I have some images already uploaded and selected, and we're just going to use that. So that is nice for the um, top part of the, of the um, website. And when you do a carousel, uh, in most cases, you want the images to be of the same size, height, and width, and, and, and those stuff. So I'm going to click this all the way there. We have two of this one, and... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's just have a look and see and how that looks like. Okay, insert gallery. Okay, normally this is what you, you get when you build a carousel. Right? Okay, that is the default view, default setting. So, the first thing that you want to do when you customize this is first you change the image. Uh, maybe I'm going with a medium here. And when you go with medium, you'll more or less get that, that kind of a uh, um, view, right? Okay. So you see this one image is not the same size as the rest. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. So which one was that? It's okay. This one with the pointy heel. All right. Let's click on that and remove this one. Insert into gallery. Now, in case you're doing this with a brand new um, uh, section, I'm going to show you how you can um, customize the section there. So I'm going to click here and drag that into a new section. All right, so that was the section with this uh, carousel just now. And I'm going to put a bit of a, a margin here so that, it, that it's not so close with each other. 100 should be okay. All right. So this is the normal carousel that you get. Now let's start customizing it. The image is, is all fine, right? But if we want this to be a full width of the window, this um, section itself, first what you do is we turn on stretch and then we um, switch the content width into a full width, right? And then the column gaps, we put in no gaps. Okay, now let's have a look. Now that looks uh, a lot better, right? Now, if this is a little bit too big, what you want to do is start to customize the carousel itself. That's now we were customizing the section. Now let's click on this little pencil here that will allow us to edit the carousel itself. And um, when we are on a large screen like this, uh, what we can do here is determine how many images we want to appear uh, right up front. Let's see what we have here. Image carousel. 
slides to show. Now, I like for a big screen like this, maybe we do five images, right? Something like that. Okay. Now it's starting to look similar to the one that we have at the bottom. And how many slides do you scroll uh, with one um, with one click of the left hand of the navigation? We just want one slide to uh, slide. Right. So now we get something like this. Let's have a look. Okay, it's starting to uh, come together now. You can click that and see it's sliding. And of course, there are other additional options that you can use here, whether you have it on auto play or not, or um, you want it to be manually um, triggered or something like that. Now, I'm going to leave uh, just leave that be, but what other things that I want to do here is to have some text which explains about what these images are. So let's click back on these images here. And uh, when you click on any of one any one of this image, you see so you get some other options, right? On on the uh, right hand side uh, right hand hand side here. Now I'm gonna change um, the title of these images. So I think I already have some title for each one of these. Okay. Um, hmm purple sky and then snow by the sea stars in the mountain mountain night sky snowy mountain yellow flowers in the field okay that looks all right just update that and here caption you want to select title and now you can start to see that you have uh, some title at the bottom of the um, sliders itself. Now we want to start to move this into the image area, right? Into the slider. Now that's the next part. But before that, you see we have this um, dotted navigation here. I don't want that. So I'm going to move that and just um, select the arrows. The arrows are fine on the left and right. See, this is the arrows and this is the dots. So I'm going to move the dots and just pick the arrows. And now we don't have um, uh, the dots anymore okay all right okay uh, now here's a little bit of trick with Elementor Pro uh, each one of this widget you have this custom CSS option here now there's no choice then when when you want to start to customize the widget um, you are going to have to play a lot with the custom CSS so this is my custom CSS. Well, before that, um, I think it's a good practice to apply an ID for our widget before we start customizing it with CSS. In this case, I'm going to call it, uh, it's kind of like an ID for that widget itself. I'm going to call it mm, uh, my slider, right? Okay. And we are going to copy that. And this is our simple, <laughs> simple but not so simple um, custom CSS. Now, this is where our ID goes, right? So if you have multiple um, sliders in the same page, right? It doesn't interfere with one another. So that's why we use this ID. And uh, that's why we, when, when we're using the uh, custom CSS. Now, what it says here is this. With this slider and this fig caption, this is the text that goes under the slider itself, right? And we say that we're going to use position absolute here. Um, from with this, we can position it this um, uh, 70 pixels from the top of the slider and 10 pixels from the left of the slider for each of those sliders, right? And we give a bit, give it a bit of a, a margin on the right. And then a bit of a text shadow so and of course to kind of like give an idea that the sliders are clickable we make it that when we hover over the slider the cursor changes into a pointer okay so copy that i'm gonna copy all this copy all right so first let's have a look now you see the cursor doesn't changes into a pointer currently Right, but that's going to change when we put in the custom CSS. I'm just going to paste that. 
all right okay okay now we see that the text is already in the um, slide image but it's not really the color may not be suitable so you, for the text you can always use the style here because we have a style for the uh, text caption here I'm going to change the color to white and I'm going to make it to align to the left and maybe using typography I can change the size to be a little bit bigger about 30 pixels 30 pixels like that yeah I think that looks good if that looks good now click update and we can start to see how it looks like okay this is the preview this is the earlier slider this is our new slider here right but currently when you click on it nothing really happens right okay um, for that we need to use a little bit of uh, JavaScript right to be able to put in JavaScript we use this HTML widget we put that under the slider and here is our JavaScript now let me explain this a little bit first you define you de you determine where you want um, to take the visitor when they click on the slider now in most cases we can use this maybe you have a website with your portfolios and um, you make them into categories if you are a photographer maybe the one category is um, photos of people and then photos of nature and then photos of objects and stuff like that um, some are commercial photos or something like that so you make that into a slider like this and when people click on it it goes into another page which has uh, more of the examples of your work so that is one way of um, using this and I'm sure you can think of other ways as well but basically what you want this to be is um, the URL where you want the um, visitor to go to this doesn't have to be a full URL like this it can be URL from your website let's say you have a page which says uh, portfolio slash um, people and or maybe you have here another URL portfolio um, slash um, nature or something like that it 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 can be something like this it may be a link to the same website it can be a link that goes outside so that is up to you all right I'm just gonna keep it uh, like this just an example okay so what, what it says here is that it's trying to look for this um, swiper slide but the swiper slide has to be under the, the same ID that we made it to be just now I think it was uh, my slider and then with each of these uh, slider what it does it will um, implement a click listener it will listen to a click um, a click event when that happens it will trigger this function here what it does it will try to get you see for each of this um, slider they have an ID a unique ID by itself which is done by Elementor itself where you get an index of which slider it is so you're gonna get um, a number from 0 to the number to the total of sliders that you have so in this case I don't know we have six or seven so that would be if you have seven it will be from zero to six but you don't really need to worry about this you, you just need to copy this um, uh, make a few changes like I did just now and it should be working fine so I'm gonna click and copy this and let's put it in our code here and I think we're good click update okay so this is our old slider this is our new slider right so right okay all right I think I clicked on the on the link there on one of the sliders instead of the um, arrow itself okay let's uh, wait until it starts to run there you go it's running it should be running again yeah there you go let's click on one of the um, slider this one goes to UA Elementor 
right so you just if, if um, you just have to be certain of which image goes to which um, URL and uh, if you made a mistake there you can always uh, swap the you this URL around this would correspond to the first slider, the second slider, the third slider, the fourth slider, and so on. So um, do check the description below. I have links to all the codes of the CSS. And also don't forget to check out my uh, uh, Fiverr account where I have some gigs and services which is related to WordPress and Elementor. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys.